so what's going on guys it's jm it's free boxing make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click onto any of my videos also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what i'm saying in any of my videos that always it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel it is appreciated so former british commonwealth and european super middleweight champion and former three-time world title challenger george groves says if he doesn't defeat fedor children off on may 27th for the wba super middleweight title then he sees it being his last fight and it could be the end of his career to quote george groves here he says training hard does things to the body and it takes a bit longer to recover to get the weight off you age a little bit more after the sessions it's all good but yes it's now whenever i've got a little baby at home and i want to spend some time with him so the sooner i get this crack the sooner we're all on our way there's no more time to be wasted ultimately this could be my last fight how many chances can one guy have and that's true i don't see george groves getting many more chances and even if he did get any more chances then i don't see him being able to rebuild i don't see him getting up for it because he's done it twice now in his career and i don't see him being able to get up for a third time rebuilding and trying to get a fifth shot at a world title like nah i don't see george groves doing that and like he just said he's just had a little baby and since he's had his son i bet he's perspectives changed on life and i bet he wants to be around his son and watch his son grow up he's comfortable in life george groves financially i think he made a lot of money in that carl frotch rematch and he's made some good money along the way george groves so i don't see that being an issue for him and like i just said he's too good domestically george groves like i don't see him being able to get up to rebuild because he is better than them fighters domestically and at european fringe level and I think if you don't crack the world title scene, then there's no way for him to go. And on paper, this looks like a very, very winnable fight for George Groves. He's the bigger guy. He's bigger than Fedor Trudenoff. In terms of height, he's 5'11". Trudenoff's only about 5'8". Fedor Trudenoff's a very small super middleweight, in my opinion. And he's not particularly quick, Fedor Trudenoff. He's quite slow. He's quite methodical in what he does in there as well, Fedor Trudenoff, but it can be very effective. We saw it when he fought Felix Sturm. But that was a Felix Sturm that had seen better days, in my opinion. And he fought Frank Buglione. He managed to outclass Frank Buglione. But that's not really hard because Frank Buglione, in my opinion, is a limited fighter. Um, nah, I just didn't see Frank Buglione beating Fedor Trudenoff. But I see George Groves doing it. I think he's got a very good skill set. He's very effective for what he does got a very good jab i think if george grove stays disciplined in this fight and sticks to his game plan in what him and shane mcguigan have come up with i can see george grove grinding it out here and winning by a unanimous decision and he could even stop feed or trude off late if um he manages to impose his size on feed or trude and off try and tire him out and just break him down with that big jab that he's got george groves and i think this is the time now for george groves and I think he really needs to put on the performance of his career against Fedor Tudinov because on paper it's a very winnable fight but we don't know until the bell goes ding ding because we have seen George Groves unravel in the past and it is on a big stage, it's front of 30,000 people at um, Bramwell Lane in Sheffield because it's done the card of Kel Brook and Elwood Spence so it'll be a big crowd and hopefully George Groves can keep his cool and get the victory here and finally get that world title and even if he wins the world title, there's other fights for him out there. He could fight guys like James DeGale. He's a bitter rival in the sport of boxing. And that's a very highly anticipated rematch if it happens. Obviously, the guys fought very early on in the careers. They had the rivalry. And George Groves picked up a majority decision victory over James DeGale. And a lot of people thought James DeGale won that fight. It was a very close fight. It could have gone either way, in my opinion. But George Groves got it. And the rematch would definitely be money. Especially if James DeGale is still the IBF super middleweight champion. Two rivals, two British rivals in a domestic world title unification. I think that would be a very good fight. So hopefully George Groves gets his victory so we could see fights like that further down the line. But it's easier said than done. Even though Trudenoff is very methodical, he is a good fighter. So yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's